All right, so right now let me introduce you the deleting stuff, okay? How to basically delete a record from the existing list. So this is what we have so far and we are going to introduce this link. The delete link should be available next to the update link and it should be available for each, each students that I have inside my list or inside my database. So once a user go ahead and click on delete, let's say somebody want to click on, uh, somebody want to delete a record uh, he can actually click on delete and once you click on delete it is going to basically prompt you this one are you sure you want to delete this particular record and once you say cancel it will not delete let's say somebody hit that particular button by mistake or something if we will not delete that but once somebody confirms this delete you will be seeing that the last record shall done is not available because we have deleted that particular record and if you want again if you want to try to delete penny you can click on delete and the penny will be deleted for sure okay this is the functionality we will be developing and before we get started uh, tell me one thing how basically you are going to delete a particular student think about it how we are going to delete a student Obviously, we need the ID of that particular student. We have to, uh, you have to tell me that which student I have to delete so that I can take his ID or I have to take her ID. Then I can delete that particular record from my database. So how to do that? So if I'll go to, if I will go back to my Eclipse right now, next to each student, I should have a delete record, isn't it? I should have a delete link, I'm sorry. So next to each student, I should have a delete link available. So I'll go to the student list page to here and right here what I'm going to do uh, this is my update link isn't it let me copy this let me create one more link here and this time I will say there's a delete okay because I'm going to do I'm going to create a delete link here and here instead of saying update student I'll be saying delete student because somebody when he is going to click on uh, this link this should navigate him or navigate her to a new URL called delete student Okay, and obviously we have to pass in This the ID as a parameter so that we can understand that who is the student? Um, is going to be get deleted. Okay, so you have to you have to send it as a parameter Okay, so right now right now what I'm going to do here. I can go back to my controller I can basically copy this URL first copy that and go back to my controller and I have a lot of methods here I'm going to create one more for delete this is going to be the URL maybe I can copy one method let me copy this particular method copy this and I'm going to paste this particular method just right here to get a skeleton and right here obviously i'm going to delete everything right now first of all let me delete everything and uh, this is going to be my delete url let me do control v and obviously this is the url that i should be having and i should tell or update this particular method name to delete student and i have request a uh, request param user id and obviously whenever mm, okay l let's say if i'm going to do command s where did where, where is the JSP page if I'm going to do a command s just right here if I'll go back if I do a refresh so I got the delete link so when you when you hover over here you can you can have a look right here when I hover over there I'll be saying delete student uh, you can see student management slash delete student and also I do have user ID attached as a query string okay so if I if I click on if I click here then it is going to generate this particular user ID as three if I if I click on first it should say the user ID is one so basically when we click here you should go to uh, the delete student uh, link uh, with this as a query string so this is going to be the key and for this this is going to be the value and this is what we need to capture and that's why I'm saying a request param and this is the parameter name copy that from here copy this from here and uh, paste it from here I mean paste it right here 
okay and then just try to map it with the id and obviously this is going to be an int so the data type is going to be int okay so once once you capture this i really don't need a model right now because i don't want to send any data to anywhere i can remove it so once i capture the id i can simply um you know capture uh, the id of the student whom uh, you are trying to delete well, that's what I did just right here and the next thing we need to do once captured once capture the ID uh, do a service call uh, to delete uh, the student all right so let me do that right now I can do the service call because right now I'm here in my controller and I can say student service dot delete uh, delete student all right something just like this and I need to pass in the ID which is this so this white ID whatever whatever I'm capturing just right here whatever the user is inserting or whatever I mean the user is going to click in one of this link and obviously here I'll be getting the ID this ID I need to capture here okay just right here and here I need to do a service call to delete the student but obviously I do not have a method here called delete student I will hover over here and I'll go to create method called delete student inside student service and it will create that now I'll go to the service implementation and right here first of all I will add the unimplemented method I'll go to down and here I will basically do a DAO call so obviously if you remember inside my service uh, I do have a DAO reference so I'm going to use this one the reference name is student DAO. Let me go to down and let me say student DAO right here and do a delete student. All right. And right here, I have to pass in the ID again. I'll say ID. Uh, so this is the ID that I'll be sending from my controller. And right now, my service method delete is ready. So uh, basically, uh, right now, it need to do a DAO call. Obviously, inside my DAO, we do not have any delete student method. So I'm going to create one right now. I, I'm going to hover over here. And again, I'm going to say create a method called delete student with this with this particular signature inside the DAO uh, interface. So if I click here, now it is going to uh, it is going to create this particular method for me. And obviously, if I do command S, if I'll go to the implementation and here inside the student DAO IMPL, I need to override that particular unimplemented method. And I'll go all the way to down and right here. I have to write the actual logic. So to delete um, to delete a student, again I can use JDBC template dot uh, update, and basically I'll be using a SQL here. So let me use this one. Okay, the SQL I have to generate, and obviously I have to pass in the arguments. So the SQL is going to be look something just like this: string SQL is equal to um, let me put my caps lock on and delete student okay delete from students where uh, the sorry where ID let me say capital ID that's uh, that's not cast sensitive ID equal to question mark and this question mark is going to be the ID this one so I need to replace this question mark with this so this is going to be the argument for my SQL so for my SQL, the argument is going to be the ID. So now this SQL is going to run. And obviously uh, for this, the ID, whatever I'm capturing here, that ID will be replacing just right here so that the complete statement can run and my record will be deleted from here. So let me do control S and let me wait till the server reload the changes so that I can you know, show you the functionality whether it is working fine or not and also let me save my controller as well I also want to save my controller and this is the uh, delete a uh, student uh, you know method that I have written if you come over here when somebody clicks on this obviously the delete method will be getting called this is the URL I'm capturing the data from the URL basically the ID of the user whom I want to delete now it is going to the delete student method if I'll open up the implementation it will go to the service layer as you can see student service dot delete student if I click on implementation now it is going to the service layer obviously so inside the service I'm doing a DAO call so right now if I if I click over here and if I click on 
open implementation it will navigate me to uh, to the DAO layer and here basically I'm writing the delete query to delete the student let's see whether it is working fine or not um, uh, let me test this out um, by going to the home page all right so right now let me go ahead and test my application so right now I am here in my home page and right here let me try to test the delete link so if I'm going to go ahead and if I click on this particular link wiki k delete uh, well there are some error why is that uh, where from this uh, why the save student is getting called I do not understand that maybe right here I'm I, I am basically returning the R student page which is a bug I don't want to return this particular page maybe I will give him a message called you know student deleted or something or I can simply navigate the user to 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 the show student page to here okay so I can copy the URL uh, to this page to the home page uh, to to this page okay to this page I can navigate the user once the delete operation has been done so I'll go to the controller and here I should say uh, for the delete student I should say here uh, obviously I will redirect him colon uh, sorry uh, for uh, this uh, the pattern will be slash show student okay command s so once the delete operation is done the user will be redirect to this one what is this one if I do command K or control K mm. this is basically this method this is the get mapping method and once the delete operation is done we should redirect the user to here okay because if if you are not going to handle it if he going if he is going to keep refreshing that particular page obviously you will be doing uh, delete that operation again and again and obviously once you delete and record that record is not available in the database isn't it once you once you delete once you have deleted a record that record will not be available in the database so even if if, if he is going to keep hitting this url nothing will happen because anyhow that data is not not present in the database the first time you are trying to perform this operation first time you are going to hit this method that record will be deleted next time if you are trying to do refresh then nothing will happen if you are if you are not writing this okay uh, if you are writing some random thing just right here if you are not redirecting the user even if you are doing refresh uh, there should not be there should not be any problem I think okay so you can do command G right now but I, I I want to redirect I want to follow the best practice obviously once the delete operation is done um, you know let's let's redirect the user to the home page okay to our show student page so let's see uh, whether it is working right now or not so uh, whether the reloading completed maybe yes so I'll go here I do refresh here uh, last time last time the delete operation happens perfectly uh, you can see that record is gone but the you know I, I was getting a error in the page error in the web page but I, I'm not actually using any web page and obviously I have updated this uh, this particular return statement so this should work fine this time so if I'm going to click on uh, delete on Abhipsha what is going to happen see obviously I deleted and I'm redirect to this particular page again if I if I'm going to click on delete on Abhi now that record is deleted here as well so if you'll go to your database right now if if I'm going to do a refresh you can see there is no data here okay so right now if I'm going to click on add let me add a record if I'll do a submit right now well that record is here okay right now if you're, if you're going to click on delete it is going to be deleted but see the ID is 4 right now why the ID is 4 but previously if you remember there was three different records present here what I have deleted so right now for that three student the ID was reserved previously that's why right now the next one the next ID my database is generating for me is four so if you're going to go back to the database and if you're going to select this particular statement you can see the ID is starting from four because previously there was three different elements was present here three different rows are present here 
If you want to make it start from one again, then you can truncate the table. There should not be any data in the database right now as the table has been truncated. Right now, if you can go back to your Eclipse. If you do a refresh, there should not be any data. If you click on add and if you're going to click on Abhilas mobile is something, country is India again, do a submit. Well, that record is generated and ID can see right now it's one. It will come back here if I do a uh, select star from. The ID starts from one of Villas mobile and country. You can see that. So right now I can keep inserting few more record. Submit. There are four records right now, okay? So one thing guys, one last thing we have to do here, one last thing we have to implement. Whenever we are trying to hit this delete let's say a user is clicking uh, this particular button by mistake right now if he is clicking here that record is gone okay so we have to prompt something to the user that hey you just clicked on the delete button do you want do you really want it to delete do you do you really want it to be deleted okay so maybe somebody is clicking on a delete button by mistake and we are removing his record from the database so it's, it's a good practice if we can prompt something to him that, hey, are you sure you want to delete it? If you say yes, then only we'll be deleting it, okay? So let's do that right now and let's implement that particular feature. And to do that, wherever I had this delete button, I'll go to that particular page and obviously that is to the student list page and here is my delete link. So let me write my logic just right here. All right, so right now let's do one more work. Uh, so here in line number 39, we are creating a TD uh, for delete, isn't it? We are creating our delete link right here inside this TD. So whenever somebody is going to click on this link, I want something to happen. What is that something? When somebody is going to click on this link, whenever somebody is do a on click, I want to prompt something. I want to prompt a dialog box. I want to prompt a confirm a box. Maybe I can say, um, are you sure you want to delete this student? Okay, uh, so let's say I want to, whenever somebody is going to click on this particular href, I want to, uh, you know, display him this confirm dialog whenever somebody is clicking on my application. I mean, uh, when somebody is clicking on my delete link. So I'll go there, refresh the page. I'll click on delete link. Well, I got a confirm box here and it is saying that, hi, are you sure you want to delete this student? And I should say cancel or okay. So right now, let's say if I'll do cancel, see there are three students. If I'll do cancel, the last one got deleted. That's what I really don't want to do. When somebody is saying cancel means I have to cancel the operation and that's what I need to do right now. Okay, so uh, even if, if, I, if I click on delete, if I say okay, then the, then the record is getting deleted. If I'm clicking on cancel, the record is also getting deleted, isn't it? So right now, let me go back to that particular link again, where, where I've created that link right here, on click link. So right now I can do one more thing. So when somebody is not confirming, when somebody is not confirming, uh, so if, if somebody is not confirming, we have to return false. If somebody is confirming, then we have to return true. So let's say if somebody is not confirming, maybe I'll put it inside a if. If it is not confirmed, then I'll be returning false. So I'll say return false. Okay, command S. Let me go there, refresh. Hey, I don't have any data to test. Let me insert few data here quickly. So we have few data here. Right now, click on this uh, VSEC link, delete. Uh, I got a prompt box. I'll say cancel, nothing happened. I'll click on delete, cancel, nothing happened. Let me click on Avilash, delete, cancel, nothing happened. Let's click on delete, okay, it's deleted. Let's click on this one, click, 
delete okay i'll say okay it's got deleted if i click on delete cancel it's not getting deleted so all your features are working you are able to add a student you'll be able to update a student if i'll do a submit i'll be able to update a student and also if you if i want i'll be able to delete a student there you go your crowd is completed you know about in short select delete and update operation how to do that with spring jdbc with spring with spring mbc but right now is this the end not actually i can wrap this up right now but as i got some chocolate in front of me i have some motivations so i am thinking to plan something else for you guys uh, let's make it a little more real time let's implement the connection pooling jindi let's integrate bootstrap let's style our application and let's make our application a little more you know a little more user friendly and a little more attractive okay and i'll be telling you some more important feature uh, but what about if i'll do it tomorrow right after my morning session i have a morning uh, morning batch tomorrow um a spring boot batch that is running maybe that is running maybe by 7:30 yeah not maybe that's running in 7 by by 7:30 so 7:30 i have a call then i have some client calls um then i have to attend that and then whenever i'll get some free time i'll come back and i'll shoot it for you okay i'll shoot some videos for you for sure i'll do some screen capture and i'll just i'll just share some more information whatever i can tomorrow i'll try to wrap it up tomorrow tomorrow let's wrap it up let's wrap up this application and let's let's release this particular set of videos so many videos so far let me release i don't know how i'm going to you know edit this much you know there are so many videos just right here i need to edit this many videos crazy <laughs> okay nobody is going to help me i have to edit it for you guys anyhow let's try let's do that tomorrow till then bye bye take care happy coding it's going to be 11:15 maybe i'll do some other stuff and then i'll go to sleep bye bye for now see you tomorrow take care